And now we're going to go ahead and <coughs> start doing the second part of our headlight here. And I did make a little bit of editing uh, outside of the recording for it. And you can see where I added one or two more edge loops. And uh, that was just to refine the shape a little bit more. Um, I didn't want to keep continue to bore you guys with shaping the headlight. But you can see where I just added one or two more uh, edge loops to and, and refine the shape a little bit more. And now we're going to go ahead and basically make the the middle part for our our headlight and you just simply you know duplicate those faces the same process that we've been using uh, for the windows and, and for the the bumper and the fender and then we'll just you know simply adjust it with with vert poles and stuff and you know you can see where I you know do a lot of spinning around the model and and this is just to make sure that it's you know looking proper and, and looking the way that I want it to look and if it's not looking correct then I simply you know continue to adjust it and adjust it and, and adjust it until I you know feel that it's the way that I want it and you can see that I continue to add you know edge loops to to refine that shape more so that it's going to hold its shape But once you, you know, say like get in the flow of you know what you're doing, it's going to be, you know, much faster. Um, this tutorial may take a while because, like I said, you know, this is a very specific car, and you just have to try to get the the attitude of the car across, even though it's you know not a full character in terms of something like you know Pixar cars. It still has to have a lot of stylization to it and a lot of attitude to it, and, and it just takes a little bit of a little bit of time, a little bit of effort to to get it to look right. And now I'm going to go ahead and make the inside part of the light. And it's just the same thing, you know, duplicate the faces and and simply just extrude. And, and that's just so that you know whenever we go to render it the uh, the actual light looks like it has a little bit of thickness to it It's looking pretty good there. I'll go ahead and add the actual glass for the light there. Just try and get the the ball to fit properly there.
definitely have to add extra edge loops here to make sure that it's going to retain and hold its shape properly.